Hi, my name is Bryson Verzella. I'd like to welcome you to 628 Alamo Heights Boulevard, right here in the heart of Alamo Heights. And I wanted to give you a little detail of the exterior on the front side of the house, as well as the interior and the exterior of the rear, which we're gonna get to as well. But because this had so many details and because it's a luxury home right here in this area, I thought it was important to just kind of create a video that kind of displays some of the detailed features that this particular property has to offer. So I want to start with the fact that this grass is actually a genetically engineered hybrid of Bermuda grass. It actually does extremely well in the drought conditions that often accompany summers in San Antonio, Texas. So for starters, you have amazing grass that on its own, just organically, handles the heat really well, handles the lack of rainfall really well. But in addition, the owner is a big fan of a low maintenance lifestyle. So he actually recently installed sprinkler systems in the front yard and the backyard as well. Now hedges and shrubs can oftentimes pose a problem for homeowners when it comes to additional maintenance and care uh, to include watering. So with that being said, this particular homeowner had installed drip irrigation and each one of these different plants and shrubs actually has its own water feature so that they can actually take on you know, plenty of irrigation during the heat of the summer without you actually having to come out here and hand water each one and, and give it that level of care. So as you can see, we've got some rosemary on either side and a number of really well manicured hedges. As we lead up to the stairs here, we have some recently installed railing that I think lends itself to the contemporary nature of this particular property, as you'll note as we approach the inside, uh, which also blends with the historical feel of an Alamo Heights home. So as we go up these stairs, you're gonna notice that we have a beautiful deck and you actually have a nice front porch that would actually accommodate a rocking chair, a bench, and just a nice little sanctuary for you to enjoy the front yard. All right, so here we are in the inside. This is actually the foyer for the property. As you can see, we have a beautiful staircase leading up to the second floor. We have beautiful light fixtures throughout. To begin with, this is kind of the masterpiece of the house, this beautiful chandelier. I wanna go ahead and take you into the formal dining room. As you can see, we have another contemporary custom piece as far as the lighting goes. We have beautiful refurbished wood floors which are original to the home. The property's been freshly painted throughout. So the baseboards, the chair railing, the crown molding, and the paint throughout looks immaculate. There are a few homes that actually show this well that are not brand new. So I truly believe this is one of the homes in the Alamo Heights area that could almost be comparable to a brand new home, even though it's simply not. It's just undergone a very quality renovation. I wanna go ahead and point out you know, some of the finer features and details of the kitchen. You have a, a beautiful, shiny quartz countertop right here. We have beautiful iridescence inside of the countertop, which I think is an amazing contrast. You can see beautiful sparkles if you focus on the countertop and you just kind of shift your view from one point to another. It does have a walk-in pantry. There are a few nice custom features in the cabinetry. So we have a feature that is perfect for a food processor. It's actually a shelf that pulls out and comes up. We've got a couple pull-out drawers where you open up a cabinet, such as this one right here, and the drawer actually comes out, which is great. I know a lot of folks really appreciate that. It just allows for a more efficient use of space. You've got a brand new range, all gas, five burner, vent. You've got beautiful stainless steel appliances on the other side of the kitchen. So it's a really nice space to cook and to be able to have easy access to this beautiful refrigerator, which does come with the property. You actually also have a bread drawer over here, which is very, very much a, a traditional feature for the Alamo Heights area. Um, I thought that was really neat. The hardware itself is actually original. So if you look around at some of the door handles throughout the home, 
the owner decided to keep it because we think that it adds a, a nice little something to a property that has otherwise been renovated. So beautiful property. As you can see, you've got some pendant lighting, which is also very custom, and we think it ties in very nicely to the property. We have a very beautiful custom backsplash, which I think ties in very nicely to the kitchen. It really provides a nice contrast to the white countertops and the iridescence inside them. I'm gonna go ahead and finish the kitchen with this beautiful sink with a commercial grade water fixture and a brand new dishwasher as well. All right, so here we are actually in the family room of this beautiful home. As you can see, we have a nice tile, which is actually original to the property, has very much travertine old world look. You've got nice tumbled marble, which also kind of has that travertine natural stone look that accompanies the rest of the house on one of the walls there, as well as here at the bar. This is actually a beautiful piece that is set for the formal dining room specifically. Again, all of the windows had recently been replaced. So these let in an abundance of light and they're actually uh, Pella windows. So if you're a window connoisseur, you know that that's one of the flagship brands for windows as well. The home has a beautiful traditional gas fireplace, which if one wanted to, you could actually create a mantle for it. It's a blank canvas for anything you might want to do, but it is a gas fireplace. You have a beautiful marble tile. And for those rare winter nights here in Texas that you're able to enjoy a nice fire, I think this provides a nice ambiance and also some warmth to the home. There's also a beautiful fireplace on the exterior that I'd like to show you next. The family room actually has a very, very high ceiling. As you can see, you have another beautiful contemporary light piece, which I think adds to the ambiance of this family room. So I'd like to welcome you to the backyard of 628 Alamo Heights Boulevard. This is a beautiful backyard. The owner actually went to extensive lengths to make sure that the sprinkler system fit really well and hit every piece of the yard. This particular home is attractive in this area because it's on a very low maintenance lot. As I mentioned, it's about 0.15 of an acre, which in Alamo Heights, I think is pretty desirable for somebody looking for a yard, but yet a low maintenance lifestyle. I think this home has a particularly beautiful home site because it has the equivalent of an eight foot privacy fence where the top two feet are actually a beautiful, well-appointed lattice with this beautiful flowing ivy over it. Secondly, I'd really like to draw your attention to this beautiful century plus year old oak tree. I think that this really has a lot to offer. So with that being said, I'd like to show you the more spacious section of the yard. Just want to point out this particular home site does have an area where you can enjoy some grass, some lawn, you have a little room to play. You have some room for children to play as well, should you have you know, children that you want to have enjoy the space and just kind of have that suburb feeling. With that being said, I also want to mention that I do think that this space would accommodate a swimming pool. So the next thing I want to show you is this beautiful chopped rock chiminea. I think this is beautiful for those evenings, even if it's in the middle of the summer, just to throw a log into the chiminea and enjoy the ambiance that it creates. This is a chopped stone. I assume it's somewhere in the neighborhood of an Oklahoma reddish brown color palette. Very beautiful stone though. I think it ties into all the different colors of the exterior. I'd like to point out that this is a hardy plank siding. So this is a cement fiber siding. Generally comes with a lifetime warranty. I think it's important to note that all of this was freshly painted, freshly done exterior. I don't think any new homeowner will have to expect to have any issues here in the future, at least not for quite some time. As you can see, even the trim on the window seals has been freshly redone. And note that the light fixtures throughout are also redone. This is a very, very spacious patio. As you can see, the railing has been taken care of. It's got fresh stain everywhere, the balcony included. This is a balcony that actually adorns the fifth bedroom and we'll be able to walk outside the balcony to kind of capture a little bit of the view from what that individual would experience. So I hope you enjoyed the outdoor living area. That in mind, here we are back in the family room. I want to take you to this beautiful study as we walk through these beautiful French doors, which again have the matching hardware that was custom and original to the house. This is the study. It has the refurbished hardwood look as well. You have the crown molding. A beautiful, unique, and yet contemporary feature is the light fixture up on the ceiling, and then a beautiful bay window, which creates an amazing ambiance from the outside. So this is the half bath. It's right through the entry right between the kitchen and the study. It has a nice contemporary feel. 
You have a pedestal sink with a very, very dark oil rub bronze and contemporary light fixtures. It's just a really nice use of the space and this makes it very convenient for guests and residents to use. So this is the master suite. It's downstairs, you have a beautiful view to the ivy outside as well as the beautiful tree that we had seen earlier. It also allows for a nice little easy access to the back porch. So if you wanna have a cup of coffee in the morning, you want to enjoy you know, your family or if you want to walk out to the hot tub that you might decide to put out there or the swimming pool at some point in time, this will actually allow for very easy access, which is super convenient when you find yourself living in a home for 10 years or longer. Next, I'd like to take you into the master suite. We're going to look at this beautiful, extended, expansive closet, which has been fully customized. I want to show this particular master closet because it has so much to offer. Um, I want to point out a lot of the customizations that the owner has actually created. We've actually extended this further in. This was actually a separate room before, but with the renovations, we've actually created an additional uh, hanging space a couple different places where you can actually put your clothes. You've got plenty of room for purses. You've got plenty of room for belts, shoes. I mean, just about anything that you would want to have here, you'll have space for. And then you have another set of dresser drawers here. So with that being said, I want to point you to everything from the beautiful custom lighting that also adorns the master closet, as well as the natural lighting that comes in from the outside, which I think is really great. Not all closets have that. I think it's something that I can appreciate about this closet. As you can see, more hanging space, more drawers, and the overall size and spaciousness of this particular closet is nothing short of amazing. So next, I wanna show you the master bath. Take a look at this. This is a shower more than likely unlike anything you've ever seen and that is no hyperbole. This actually has 11 different fixtures. You have a rain shower, you have a handheld shower, you actually have eight body sprayers, and then you have a filler spout. It also comes with an amazing temperature gauge so that you can digitally see exactly how hot or cold the water is. It also comes with a beautiful pattern here with a glass ceramic that I think really, really sets the bathroom off. We also have the custom quartz countertops which contain the iridescence similar to the kitchen. We have beautiful, beautiful bright white cabinetry with custom hardware. We're here at the top of the stairs. As you can see, you have a really nice view to the lower level. You can actually see who's at your door coming in. I think there's actually a nice sound up here as far as the acoustics go as well. This is a continuation of that beautiful refurbished original wood floor, which I think is really spectacular. It just really ended up with a really nice clean look. As you can see, the rest of this upstairs area is also really well painted, really well done, incredible finish out. The owner himself told me what a task it was to have the painting crew take care of the paint and, and do it at such a high level of quality. So with that being said, I'm gonna take you into the suite of the upstairs area. So this is the one bedroom that actually has its own bathroom here in the upstairs. The countertops match the rest of the home with the iridescent white quartz. You also have the white cabinets, which are very, very beautiful. The light fixtures have also recently been replaced. The look of this bathroom is just really incredible. The owner's done a really good job of tying in new renovations to what already existed in this home. But I think this is one of the more interesting bedrooms for the upstairs area. You have a beautiful custom built-in bookcase where you can house anything from antiques to actual books. The bedroom itself has a number of angles that tie themselves into the ceiling. You actually have a nice bay window here that overlooks the front of the home. Plenty of natural light here. And then you have a lot of foliage that actually makes for a nice view for anybody who might be using this room, whether it be a bedroom or a study. So next I want to take you to enjoy the outdoor balcony. So as you can see, the second story comes with a really nice outdoor space all its own. A small balcony, but I think it creates a nice natural space where you can just read a book or have some coffee and enjoy the view. So we're gonna walk through some of the other bedrooms on the second floor. All of the bedrooms actually have such an extremely high level of finish out. The paint is beautiful in all of them, the baseboards, all of the different trim work has been done really well. There are a couple bedrooms that have smaller, more shallow closets, and then there are other bedrooms that have the full walk-in. So right now I'm gonna take you through a Jack and Jill bathroom configuration, and I just want you to get a feel for the windows, the natural light, the angles in the ceiling, and everything that this second story has to offer. So here's the beautiful Jack and Jill bathroom. I think this is a really nice piece 
As you can see, you have a significant amount of renovation done in here. We've replaced it with a very contemporary sink, which offers a dual vanity, beautiful mirrors, an accompanying custom light fixture, and then you have tumbled marble accents throughout, including the ceiling of the shower, which is great. And in addition to that, I thought it's very valuable to note that the seller and owner have actually gone over and above just to create some nice accents on some of the walls. So they've actually created a fully customized tumbled marble wall to accompany this beautiful bathroom. So here we are in the secondary bedroom that's right off of the Jack and Jill bathroom that we just exited. I think this is a beautiful room. It ties into the rest of the house. As you can see, the paint really flows throughout. The carpet is matching in all the different bedrooms. It's got a beautiful contemporary feel. Everything really has this brand new feel, which is really rare in Alamo Heights in general. The windows, just like in every other part of the house, are all Pella, they've been redone. You can take a look out this beautiful window to see a little bit of the front part of the house to include the sign that says Alamo Heights Boulevard, just in case you forgot where you are. I also want to point out that the baseboards throughout the house are very high, which creates a very estate-like feel. This one has beautiful closet space, beautiful window out the back, and I'm going to take you into the hallway where this nice refurbished wood just kind of continues to flow and, and create this really nice contrasting color palette. So the next room on our tour is actually the final bedroom of the upstairs area. As you can see, this is a very spacious room, has an abundance of natural light. You have two layers of crown molding to include a beautiful tray ceiling with custom angles. You have a beautiful view of this 100 plus year old tree. And I think this room actually is one of the larger rooms with a beautiful walk-in closet, which allows you ample space to store all of your belongings. With that being said, this actually wraps up our tour of 628 Alamo Heights Boulevard. My name is Bryson Verzella. If you have any questions about this home, if you'd like to view it, if you're interested in purchasing the home, please contact us or your favorite realtor and reach out to us. We'll get you in as soon as possible. We look forward to working with you and we look forward to finding this home its next owner. Have a great day.